Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy, X dot, E dot, L dot, O. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Thank you guys for coming back. But if you are new here, definitely like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So that'll let you know when I drop another video. If you are here for beats, I have a link below. It's called Beats You Need. Or you can just go directly to my website. It's going to be X-E-L-O-H-H dot com. Today, I just want to do a real quick discussion about bouncing to clip and bouncing to track. It should help you guys out when you're actually doing your melodies and you're doing a whole bunch of MIDI in your actual project to actually bounce it down so you'll have just the wave and you can manipulate the wave from there. So let's go. All right, let me move my big face out the way. Okay. So this is my light theme. If you are interested in this theme or my dark theme, I have a link below in the description and also have a video showing you how to install it if you don't know how to install themes. Balance the Clips, I believe, is one of the most important things that you actually need to have inside a cakewalk. So I'm gonna bring up my preferences. I'm just gonna hit P on my keyboard. And there we go, inside the preferences. And we wanna go, you wanna scroll down, you wanna make sure your advanced button is actually checked, that's here. And uh, usually it might be on basic, so if you're just starting out, it might be on basic, just make sure you're on advanced and you wanna scroll down to the bottom here and it has an option that says keyboard shortcuts. All right, so when you click on that, you can actually go to the search section here and type in pretty much anything you want to to actually get a key binding key. So let's say I want um, bounce. And as you see, my bounce to clips is already at control B. And it also has an option that says bounce to tracks. I'm gonna show you how to actually get there to do that inside of the DAW. I actually don't have a shortcut key for it, but yes, just put bounce in here and then you have a bounce to clips and you have a bounce to track. You can make it whatever you want to. I use control and B. I think that's the easiest way for me to remember it, is to control and bounce. Um, and basically what you wanna do is actually find a free one over here. Anything that doesn't have like, see how these are bold? That means that they're, they're not available. The ones that are available are the ones that are not bold. As you see my control B right here, has a star next to it, means that it does have something linked to it. My control U has something linked to it. So yeah, so this is the way you would actually link your stuff inside of Cakewalk. I wanna show you the benefit of actually doing that as well. So usually when you have uh, clips like this, let's say it's split up, right? I'm gonna split them. So you have all these split up tracks and if you wanna move them, it's only gonna move this one section. It's not gonna move the whole thing. So this is where the bounce to clips comes in handy. You can just basically highlight the whole thing and then do a control B and boom, it's all locked into one place again. You can also do this for audio. So if you actually drag in an audio file, all right, I'm just gonna grab this, uh, let's grab this kick, all right? So we have a kick and let's say you wanted to actually have this as one whole thing, you can just grab from the end Go over all of them, control B, and it'll actually make it into one whole audio file instead of having it separate. Um, this makes it easier when you're actually like bouncing them out for other people to actually use. But seeing I don't need this track, I'm just gonna delete it. And let's say you did a melody, right? You did um, a really nice melody. You wanna actually make it into audio to save some of your PC because you don't wanna use the actual MIDI VST plugins because they kill your computer. You can either do a freeze track or you can do a bounce to track. And to do that, you would just highlight, I'm gonna highlight these two right here, right? So these two are the ones highlighted. I'm gonna go up here to the top where it says tracks, click this drop down, and this option here, it says bounce to track. All right. So the destination is gonna make a brand new track. That's what we wanna do. And it's gonna go out through this uh, the ASIO driver, which is uh, my FL1 that I have here. 
you want to do the entire mix, stereo. You could put your dithering on. You could put your effects on there if you want to. You could change any of this if you want to as well. You can make it a regular bounce instead of a fast bounce. But I'm just going to hit OK on here. And now we have a brand new track down here. So if I solo this, this is just the, the instruments that I actually had. So now, I mean, you can manipulate it however you want to. It makes it a lot easier than trying to just export it out and then bring it back in. You can just actually just make the track inside of Cakewalk and then you can just name it here to whatever you want to. And boom, you have yourself some tracks. So I'm gonna mute this one so you can actually hear the actual uh, keys and the actual labs that I have up here. And now you just have all the audio down here. You can actually mute or even hide these so I can mute them. And if you wanted to, you can hide them. Just right click on it and click on hide track. And boom, so now those two are actually hidden. And now you just have your audio file and your 808 and your drums. Well, I hope you uh, actually enjoyed this video. Nice, short, straight to the point. I just wanted to show you those bounce the clips and bounce the tracks. Uh, if you don't have them linked, it's something I suggest that you should actually do. Get them linked, make your workflow a lot faster. If you have like any questions, comments, leave them below in the comment section. You know I'll get back to you on those. But once again, it's your boy, x.e.l.o. Till next time, people. Peace.